Hello and welcome to another episode of MOPO, where we discuss matters of personal opinion. I'm Robert Trewater, this is at Dave Roach 83, and today we will be discussing... We're going to talk about the phenomenon known as the Walking Dead. Uh, the phenomenon being as in the uh, hold that the show itself has taken on to the audience. Yeah, it's at least American culture. I don't know how worldwide it is, but I know, I mean, the comics sell pretty well, and then, of course, the TV show on AMC. Which also now has its own spinoff. Fear of the Walking Dead, which we'd also like to get into. I'm sure we'll be able to fit it in. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's very interesting how they left off that last episode of The Walking Dead in the... Oh, yeah, when they introduced me again, and they had him all lined up, and he's sitting there toying with them, trying to act like, basically, oh, I'm a good dude, but I'm going to beat the death out of one of you with this here barbed wire bat. Yeah. But after that, you know, I want to be friends, and, you know, maybe we can work together, and, you know, I like, I like all that. You like all that? No, no, that's what he said. Oh. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like that sounds like a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dude. As long as you don't beat me in the face. Yeah, I in the comics, I always really liked Negan. Uh, he it, it, because he was very uh, kind of chaos effect. Like you didn't really know what he was going to do, but he he seemed to have a, a morals uh, a, like a moral standard, like. He, like, he didn't want to, he seemed genuine, I don't know. He didn't seem like he really wanted to hurt people. Especially uh, later on when uh, Rick finally, you know, more or less defeats Negan. When Rick kind of makes his statement as to why he's coming after Negan, it's, Negan's almost... Oh, damn, that's kind of what I want. Like, I didn't know we were on the same page. Like, let's work together. That's a great idea. You know, almost like he never thought of it that way. Yeah. And he just needed to be convinced. Like, he was a good guy all along, but he was just taking the stand, the wrong stance. Like, he knew this would work, and he knew this would keep everybody alive. And even though he might have to kill some people, at least it was for the greater good. And then when he finally was shown another way, he's like, Yo! That's I really want to do that. Let's do that. But then, is, yeah, you know, but then, Rick Grimes, yeah, did, yeah, Rick Grimes ain't ain't having none of that. Not after you kill his people. Yeah, like, right. he's he's after blood always. I think yeah, because that's that's where like you know, comic kind of TV show whatever. Sort of got this all messed up. Like, no matter what you do there, you killed the wrong dude. Because they said, oh, grab the boy or whatever, and if the dad, uh, you know, whatever, poked the boy's eye out or whatever. So you know he didn't get Rick Grimes. And if you're going to do anybody, it better be Rick Grimes, because all oh, them other fuck. You fuck Rick Grimes, you're going to die. But, so, uh, but you think Rick Grimes is going to let this slide? Like, <laughs> yeah, but he don't, uh, know. he don't know Rick Grimes. Well, honestly, saying, though, he should up. have an inkling. Because, because he, he just did murdered just kill a whole bunch of his people. Your whole, like set or whatever they're sleeping like every time they came in they just they never came back <laughs> and then it's just like you just send more people and you're gonna billy club one one person in the face with with a baseball bat and then we're all gonna be friends after that no it's not gonna happen because I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna lie like i lost base with the comics and i didn't really get you know much farther than negan so, like, I, you know, I don't really know like how... the introduction of him? Yeah, yeah. You know, after, you know, spoilers, but uh, he bashes Glenn across the face in the comic. Yeah, in the comic, because we have no idea what these yeah, are. Yeah, I mean... Th and it's, they've been making more and more diversions from the comic. Like, yeah. they're, they're really mixing stuff up it, a lot. It seems unlikely to me that it would be Glenn. Yeah. Oh, because 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 they like forced it like he jumped out and like you know yeah. when he went after um you know what's her face but uh, uh his his wife Maggie Maggie yeah. right right I want to say Mary or something Mary but, uh, and Joseph <laughs> but uh, yeah yeah he, but I'll tell you what Maggie they looking too good for Maggie because if this dude wants them to work 
for them. How's some sick old girl going to be doing work for me? She might be the one getting bashed in her face. I, I don't also don't think it's Herschel because he kind of like bucked up too. I'm not Herschel. Um, Abraham. Abraham. I, I actually, that's why I think it's Abraham. Because he bucked up and wanted because it. He, because he bucked up and wanted it. And he's kind of like, y- y- no, you're not going to. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm saying. So because gonna, Rick, oh my goodness, man, his eyes, pure terror. And like I couldn't get over how afraid he was. Like he was so overwhelmed. He he, he messed up. He he, he finally he messed like up. yeah, it, it, like and like the fin- weight on his shoulders. Yeah, finally, all this stuff that I've been willy nilly doing has come back to bite me in the in the ass, and somebody's gonna die now. Yeah, because I'm gung- I'm fucking Rambo out here in The Walking Dead. So that's why I think Negan thinks he can control Rick because of that moment, but. Abraham's like, not me. Uh, uh, and he's like, no, you're going to be trouble. Uh, uh, I don't know. What, but, uh, what's the other way with that? Well, I also heard uh, somebody was saying that uh, Robert Kirkman left clues in the show. And, and I was watching another YouTube channel. I don't remember. So, my bad. For Daryl? But, no, they were talking about how everybody uh there were certain people that had hair in their face in their line of sight so when they did the uh first person view of negan coming at him there was no hair in the in the line of sight so to suggest that it's not going to be one of those people Mm. which would mean it's not going to be rick uh it's not going to be glenn uh, yeah because glenn's hair is long now uh it's probably not going to be maggie Probably uh, not Rosita. Probably, uh, yeah. Uh, was her hair in her face? I don't. Well, at least like like a, a little, little bit, yeah. yeah. But that's messed up though, because I really don't want it to be Sasha. Yeah, that'd be a shame. Because oh, and Michonne's hair is in her eyes. Is it? But doesn't she have like the cornrows or whatever? I mean, she like? does, but I don't know, like. Well, no, no, she doesn't have, no, she's got dreads. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, so, so they I mean, wouldn't be in her face then if they're dreads. I mean, they, I don't know, depending on how she was down. You know, you always got that one rogue one. Uh, it escapes I the bandana. I, I would say, like, let's, I would say my my top three for get being, that was, number one is Daryl, because I believe he has other stuff going on. And yeah, that's what I heard, they're too. They're not going to be able to keep him. Number two would be Eugene, because he gave up his plans to make the bullets. And so, so now, what's your use, dude? Like, well, his use might be to make the bullets. He gave up the recipe already. We don't need you no more. Uh, and number shit. three will be Glenn because it—that's how it went down in the comic. But it just seems unlikely. Yeah, I, if I was to choose Glenn, he'd be my third or fourth one. Like he—he'd he'd be like just in, uh, just in, or just out of my top three. Just they've played with killing him so many times already yeah. that it's if they do it at this point it, Although, it almost seems like they were getting you to a point where you didn't care if he died yeah. and you were just like alright just kill him already and that's kind of why I feel like a little bit that well, he might be the one still the, the reason I when we thought they killed him when you know they fell on you know the dude fell on top of him off the, the trash can I just felt like it was stupid because it was for nothing if they killed him now, it would at least have some meaning. Oh, absolutely. So there's at least that to say for it. Do you have but three then, different but, uh, I, people? I, I, I'd or say, like, do you think this, this would be about the same? Or? I'd say Abraham, I think, is my number one choice. Uh, then probably Daryl, because of the rumors of him... Uh, having other stuff well, to do. We know he has other yeah. stuff. But it's funny because you say that Glenn has all this stuff going on too. I yeah, think he he's does in too. Mani- Magnificent Seven, I, I believe. That's what I thought, but I wasn't it's sure. It's not him? Uh, I don't know. It's all hearsay. I mean, uh, I mean the, the credits are out, so I mean, you could check. But, and then probably, probably maybe, maybe Eugene too. But 
I almost feel like they want to torture him some more. He is such a bitch. Like, like he keeps he, he keeps nutting up, and then he like immediately folds, like he and then he nuts up, and then immediately the folds. And then it's like, did he tell them their route through the woods? Like, hey, how come nobody's on the able RV? To be yeah, like given like uh, tortured enough. They probably didn't have to torture him that bad, and he gave it up. That's what I'm saying. Like, did he give it up or did he hold out? Because I mean, I'm pretty sure he gave it up the la- the first time, like when they like when he bit the dude's balls, <laughs> which you while sleeping woke up to laugh about, <laughs> which was hilarious to me. Because you were uh, just snoring, was... and all of a sudden it's like ah, you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, like, oh shit. That was the best episode in a long time. I mean, first you get. You know, the girl takes uh, Abraham's place and uh, gets shot through the eyeball, which is awesome. And I always say, you know, it's a, it's a bitch move, which, like a woman, to keep running her mouth even after she gets shot through the eyeball. That that was awesome. But you make an interesting point against my choice of Abraham, because it's like, why would they spare him? Well, I guess it's actually kind just of an argument to, for me, yeah, too. Yeah, to just spare him there just to beat the living hell out of him here. And they, because like, he's like the biggest dude or exactly. whatever. Exactly. Me, you don't want to fight him. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's the biggest risk. <sighs> like, everybody else is clever. He could take him one on one in a fair fight. So if he got caught off guard, he's done. True enough. But, um,. Yeah. Dude, how much of the Negan did you read? Oh, uh, they... Like, just as soon as they introduced them? Yeah. Like, right after that the Glenn like part? That was, like, the last book. That, that, okay. that was, like, the end of the book. Because I was going to say, like, how do you like how they're portraying him so far? Well, you know, I, I do remember, I think it's accurate. Like... I mean, aside from not the, as much cursing, cussing... Well, he didn't curse at all, I don't think. I think he said shit, right? If he did, I didn't catch it. Like I actually, AMC, so they catch I, I thought that was like refreshing to see, or whatever. That they they actually didn't, you know, they made him articulate enough, and like they didn't have to curse. Yeah, where they could have. All right, and I heard that they are actually shooting separate dialogue scenes with Negan, so that. On TV, they'll have the you know the regular thing, but on the DVD, supposedly they'll yeah, have alternate no. tracks, so you can watch it like unrated. That's funny. Which I yeah, I think that would be hilarious to see. Like even if it's just novelty wise, it's like f f f. <laughs> but um, he looks like the dude, so I didn't expect him to have the beard. Okay. Like uh, because I mean Negan always comes off as clean shaven. But, I mean, it didn't throw off the persona. Yeah, he had the big cheese or whatever. Yeah, like. he had the big smile. So I thought that was, that all came together. I mean, I'm really excited to see where they go with it. I really like it. Yeah, like, what do you think, like a season? And at the end of the season, Rick gets them, or? No, they've been drawing stuff out so much. And they just introduced the kingdom. So I think we're going to be spending a lot of time at the kingdom. Because now we need to learn about... Like, doesn't um, Maggie become, like, the queen of the hill or, like, something? She becomes the mayor, yeah. Of? Of the hill. Of the hilltop. Or, yeah, the leader, the mayor, whatever. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with um, the kingdom. So I think we're going to probably spend a whole season just finding out stuff about the kingdom. What if they? What if Maggie gets got by Megan and... Glenn becomes king of the hilltop. That'd be pretty crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. Does she have the baby in the, in the comic? Yeah. It's healthy and just lives? Yeah, it's, yeah. They, they get it out of her, and it's like a decent child and shit. And as far as you know, it didn't get eaten yet? or No, not that I've not that Maggie's I yet. still alive? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Oh, uh, because they don't, she's on the hilltop, we don't really see her no more. Uh, yes and no. Uh, you still, like, there's so much going on, like, uh, Michonne is all in love with the dude who runs the kingdom, uh, Ezekiel, and he's got a big old tiger oh, as a shit. pet, 
that uh, he got Eat from probably. a zoo because he was a, a zoo caretaker and he like took care of the animals. I think is how it goes. And this was one of the tigers he took care of. So he's just like, "You're my buddy now," and it got him respect and leadership ability. And he formed this you fucking walk around with a big ass tiger, right? <laughs> I don't want no problems, dude. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, but Michonne, like, is a sea captain. She makes runs up and down the coast for supplies and stuff. And she, and like, her and Rick are really good friends because Rick is with Andrew. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. Uh, and Andrew is not even in it anymore. Now Michonne kind of takes that place. Yeah, yeah. Rishone. Michonne. Rishone. It starts with an M. But oh, oh, with Rick. Rick. Rishone. Rishone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think Rick is a dirty dick motherfucker, and anything he touches with his dick dies. Yeah. So she's probably gonna get beat across the face with. With the baseball bat. You're just making arguments for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody we talk about. Uh, <laughs> Except for Rick and Carl. I mean, we know that's not them. I'm excited to see the Carl Negan uh, get together. Because that is wild. And we should see that this season. Uh, this coming season. Because I think the first half is going to be probably so the Rick and Carl... <laughs> I mean the the Carl and Negan thing, and introduction to the kingdom. So like how how many issues? How many like how long are we deal with Negan here in the comics? In the comics, like two volumes, two trades. So maybe three ten, trades. ten, eleven, or maybe like twelve comics. Yeah, but, like but I mean he's still in it today, as oh. far as I know. Okay. Like like uh, Rick never kills him. He shows mercy. That's surprising. Yeah, he shows mercy. He just removes him from power. He removes him from power. He keeps him locked up in Alexandria, which will likely be the cage that uh, Morgan just got done building because the wolf escaped. He's like, you know, to prevent this from happening again. Right. You know. Interesting. I would figure he's a dead man. So then he must not kill no... He gotta be Eugene then who gets killed because there's no way Dude Man kills Michonne or Dude Man or like somebody Rick cares about and he don't kill him. Like... I don't know because Eugene I think is still in it. I, I, I there's, there's, a, there's a point where they get up to the Whisperers. And the whisperers are fucking crazy because that's after Negan's reign, and it's like everything's all peaceful and stuff like that, dude. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I don't want to give it away too much because you know. Well, we're talking about comics. Well, yeah, we're talking so about comics but, that already came out. So just but, but it's about, still going on. It's currently still happening. The war between the whispers is still taking place. The war of the whispers. Uh, yeah. Where they like hush each other. Uh, no, they Shh. they wear the skin of zombies. They make leather hide out of it and wear it, and they walk amongst the herds, and they whisper to each other to communicate, and they say they don't mind when we whisper. You know, saying the zombies don't don't take notice. They don't care if they whisper. So they just kind of walk along. And they're just like, yeah, there's some people over there. Okay, I'll go flank them. And then and they can actually control the herd by like making a little bit of noise and kind of directing them. That's so they crazy. so they keep hordes as armies. So they fight amongst each other. The, the no, whispers uh, are fight Rick and them. No, the uh, the whispers fight Rick and them, because uh. uh when they're scouting, some people from the kingdom and the hilltop, or just some people from the hilltop, I don't remember, they trespass on their land. And they get onto into this... the Whispers onto land. the Whispers land. And they get into this big scuffle. And, uh... And the Whispers' weapon is the zombies, basically. And they have knives. Oh, okay. uh, they have knives. <laughs> uh, they don't use guns. Because too much noise. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. 
Like they come, they got they're just stabbing the fuck out of people. Mm-mm-mm. And Negan go or Rick goes to Negan for help uh. because he ne- he needs the he's like, what would you do? Like I need to keep my people safe because the whisperers to make a point infiltrate a giant uh, fair that they're ha- uh, having. Uh, to bring all the different com- towns together. And they infiltrate and they steal people. And they cut their heads off and they line them up on pikes all down like this whole stretch of land. Just like a whole bunch of heads. And a lot of key people go down. Mm. And it's it's like, What? It was. It, it had to have been like twenty, thirty people. Who of consequence? Uh, probably like five people of consequence. I'm just saying, name a name. Um. Anybody from the TV show? I can't remember. Um. You know who we haven't talked about is the wizard boy's name Lance. Who's the, Lance? The dude from Alexandria who was the scout. He's with them, too. What's his name? Oh, I know what you're talking about. The one who brought them to Alexandria. Yeah. And then isn't there another one person there, too? I is is the son of the mayor there? I don't think oh. so. I think it's just the dude. It's just the dude? Yeah. You think it might be him? I mean... Sh- Really, it'd be an easy way out. It'd be somebody. It'd be like honestly, it'd when be, when they killed Maggie's little sister, and they're like, "Oh, somebody's going to die." Like we haven't been affected by this girl. Like she, we we haven't seen her like in almost a whole year. So it was almost like you killed her off anyway. Like that wasn't really. Oh, and that, then they bring her back. Yeah, just to kill just her. Just to just to be like, oh, she's been dead the whole time. Like what a waste. It's not like an effective kill. It's not like a heart wrenching like. So like to kill a dude, man, we're not like going to be half as affected by that. I mean, it sounds cold to say like we don't give a fuck about dude, man. But he's not, you know. It's not one of the Atlanta people, that's for sure. Yeah. But. Yeah, so I don't know how, like, closely it's going to follow the comic, if at all. Well, they're going to find ways to change it. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be verbatim. Yeah, they've been changing a decent amount, like... I, I don't even know where they're going with a lot of it. But, uh... So then, like, I guess it was at the end of last year, they they started talking about, like, Fear of the Walking Dead, and they had, like, the first season. I enjoyed the first season. The first season good, but, like, they had the first season, and I don't know, I'm not going to skip over it, but then they had, like, the, um... Then between, like, the uh, flight... Or whatever, like oh, the like the uh, the mini episodes. Yeah, like when they're on the airplane, that led into season two. Now it's going on. Oh, it did. Yeah, she's. She, How yeah, did it lead into it season connected two? In, but uh, all right, I didn't. I didn't see the whole. So thing. basically, so we got to season one, and we're following like this family, and you know the mom. It's kind of like the Rick Grimes, I think, a little bit. And you got, like, the stepdad who has his own family with a son. And the mom has a daughter and a son. I guess their dad either died or bounced out or... I, I didn't really catch that. Yeah, I don't know either. But, um... And they basically... The, the mom and stepdad work at this high school. Uh, the son's, like, a drug addict. The daughter, you know, teenagers, both of the daughters. Like, you know, I, I would say just, like, average any... It's just like any other girl or whatever, hot, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. Um, and basically, this is like L.A., um, and, you know, it's on the onset of this, you know, people 
are, are dying than getting right back up, basically. Um, and we're, you know, we're following their trials and tribulations, and they eventually um, get to this point where they're going to try to, like, go out on the water on this boat. And that's kind of where, like, the first season is, like, their journey to get to this boat. Yeah. And, like, I, I liked it a lot. I thought, you know, uh, I thought that that was a little bit, eh, a little bit weak, like, Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't like the dad. You know, I called him a bitch, basically. Because, uh, like, he got those people outside the fence killed. Yeah. Like, I was really pissed off about that. I really didn't like the son because he's like a little fiend, like stealing everybody's morphine and shit. I was like, "Come on, man!" Uh, well, like you're crazy. He's a drug addict. I don't know. I kind of identified that kid. I, I I liked him. Like, no, I, I he is what he see, is. I liked him, but I I didn't like what he was doing. I was uh, he's a drug addict, I was like, man. That's what they do. But yeah, now he now I I like him definitely for sure. He's. Yeah, I think he's he would the do. character I would probably identify with also. Yeah, it's like what? Especially his tactic currently in season two. Yeah. But uh, so they, they, they get to this boat, you know, they meet this guy who appears to be very wealthy or whatever, and he offers them a ride on his boat, and that's where the first season ends. Uh, the dad kills his ex wife or whatever, she gets scratched or bit or something. And, and they, they start. All right. Yeah, like, his son goes a little nuts. Yeah, his son is, like, he's the one that's going to snap, if he's, anybody. Yeah, he's getting a little twisted. He's, like, I don't know. I don't know where he's going with this the wrong. mindset of his. But they start talking about, like, this flight or whatever. And these people are on an airplane, and basically somebody turns. And I'm like, are they ever going to explain why this is happening. Oh, so the plane is why... No, I'm just no. saying somebody turns on this plane. Yeah, they're never gonna... It's always gonna be from, like, a government experiment from within uh, okay, the country. Okay, then give or it's me gonna something. Be like give me something, something then. Something happened outside of the country. I wanna and know why. Back. This is gonna be a weaponized... Uh, chemical weaponized flu <laughs> turn everybody into zombies. But uh, and this zombie basically wreaks havoc up in this airplane and makes it crash. And we follow these people. They wind up being on a life preserver. Or there are four or five people. This one dude's uh, this kid. He's like I guess like a teenager. He's like his face is mangled. Like he is torn up. And this girl's like trying to keep him alive and stuff. Like, you know, eventually, you know, what's gonna happen when you're stranded in a lifeboat with really no sign of rescue? People will turn on each other. And oh, those girl. Okay, so the people that were the guy that was burned, and the girl and the guy. They were from. They were from the flight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. And. It's funny because they eventually link up with the people in season two. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, dude who owns the boat is not about no more extras. Like, at this point, I'm sure he's regretting even bringing who he brought along along. Because he's Absolutely. like, my boat, and I'm 100% with him. My boat, my rules, then those are the rules. Like, that's it. They were not bringing no more people in here, so they link up with these people, and uh, they they convince them to let them at least tie on to the end. Like they got their little raft; it's just the chick and the dude with the burnt face, and you got to tie them onto the back of the boat. And then, Fifteen uh, minutes later, yeah. Vlad, the, or, uh, you know, dude that owns the boat comes out with the axe and chops them right off. That was so great. Immediately. It was great. He's um, like, nope, not on my watch. Right. And the, the chick, the Rick Grimes chick, is just like, bah! It's like, she wanted to fight it, but she's just like, eh, whatever. It's like a half, like, bah! Like, I probably should care. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, there's nothing I can do about it now. They're dead. 
Um, but then, like, they actually wind up meeting this chick later on in, in the season. I mean, and the second season is still going on. Do they? Yeah, they meet back up with her. Oh, damn. That's yeah. got to be rough. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not. And, yeah. and the captain's gone. Well, no, no. They get him back. Oh, uh, they do? Yeah, yeah. Because oh, well, yeah, what man. happens is. I'm a couple episodes the, behind. Yeah, dummy, dummy chick daughter who is, you know, cute and all, but. She, like, starts radio contact with these people, and basically these people find them. But they find them because they find the Asian girl first from the, the raft. And she tells them where they are about the boat name is the Abigail. Tells them all about them. And that's how they're actually able to find them. So these people take over the boat and attack the um where the the owner of the boat tries to get away and it appears that he'd be shot but he wasn't and like he was just over there drifting in the water the attackers get handled essentially and they get uh, i believe his name is strand they they get him back the owner of the boat and they go and they, but they basically kidnap the dad and the stepdaughter um, and they go and get them back eventually, and that, you know, at this point, they're, um, the, you know, the, the core group is back together, and they're on their way to Baja, California, to try to make it to this uninfected zone, which I guess would make sense if you're in the middle of the jungle, there ain't no people around anyway, so well, no, I mean, it looks be, like it was all... Kind of uh, farmland. Yeah, but stuff. it's like cut out from the middle of the jungle. All I know is that place did look pretty deserted, and it looks like really open. Probably going to see what's coming. But the only problem is if you're way out there, you better not be making any noise because whatever's coming is going to be a lot of things that are coming. Sure enough. But yeah, no, I actually, I, I like it, but like, I like all, I love the comic. You know, I have been slowly rereading it uh, through, you know, online sources. Um, but I'm up to, like, book 11 or 12. I'm up to the book basically right after the um, the whole prison scene where Rick and Carl are kind of by themselves for a little bit. Then eventually they meet up with Michonne and go back to the farm with Dale and the kids and Glenn and Matt, you know, and such. Okay. Um, and I basically just got, they don't quite know what happened to, um, Andrea, but, you know, at that point, but, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting there. So whatever book that is, that's kind of where I'm at, but I tend to, you know, read the series, but both shows are awesome, I mean, at this point, Walking Dead itself is iconic. Fear the Walking Dead. I don't know if it'll ever be as enthralling or yeah, it's you know, captivating as Walking Dead, but it's still a pretty good show. Like I, I do like it a lot. Like zombies in general, man. As long as it's done well, I mean, even like Z Nation. Z Nation was shows, really like, great. They're, yeah, they're like it's just good stuff. It was it's just done, really funny. You know, zombies. You know, it's easy. What do you call it? Uh, medium or whatever. It doesn't like zombies. Right. Zombies are great. But, you know, the also thing about The Walking Dead is, first of all, the people are The Walking Dead, number one. And number two, like, at this point, like, maybe not well, Fear of the Walking if, Dead. Because now everybody who dies is going to be coming back as a zombie. Yeah. So it is literally, you, you are, the, you walking are dead. the Walking Dead. But, you know, maybe not so much in Fear of the Walking Dead because it is new still. But at this point in the comic... You know, the new comics and the new TV shows, Walking Dead, if you're getting got by zombies, you're you're messing up. It's the people you got to watch out for anyway. Yeah. Like, there's no reason... I mean, unless they're those rage zombies, those things scare the bonkers out of me. Yeah, no, no, but you talk about two, diff two different... When you're talking about... Um, other movies and stuff. I'm talking about in the Walking so, Dead just universe. like specifically Walking yeah, Dead Yeah, Walking Dead. All right, like, yeah, all right. No, at yeah. this point, six, seven years into it, 
These dudes are like slumping at you, decomposing. Yeah, like they're not, they're not making. They're it. not like a threat anymore. They shouldn't be unless like you get, you know, somebody does something to you to make you unaware that you know as a trap or something like, or somebody unexpectedly dies. Yeah, in your in your house or nearby. Now, do the animals come back as zombies? I don't think so. Because, I mean, we don't see any zombie deer right. running around, you know? My cat died or whatever, come back as zombie cat and bite me. And yeah, I don't think so. In, in Z Nation it is. In other in other movies, Z Nation, the animals come back? Uh, yeah, I think there's zombies? a cat that comes back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, and they have a baby in it too, a zombie. Yeah, baby. I remember the zombie baby. I didn't watch much more after that. I'll be honest. You're like, oh, after zombie baby, <laughs> where's this going? Yeah, like, <laughs> all right, folks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Walking Dead zombies. You you do have to really be Slipping. totally not paying attention. <laughs> Headphones on, like, Becky! Yeah, yeah like, like, oh, yo, let's recreate our favorite 80s horror movie. <laughs> ah, dad! And walking out in the middle of the woods just with the headphones on. <laughs> Jason just like, I'll shrug, take it. Show your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living. Right? Oh, that'd be great. Uh. Yeah, uh, I think that might be it. So, thank you very much for listening. Like, share, subscribe. And remember, it's all a matter of personal opinion. It's all Mopo. <laughs> <laughs>